How do you maintain your weight loss after losing it? Are you one of those people who've been losing the same pounds or kilos over and over again? You lose them and then put them back on again. Maybe you even put on more weight each time. Maybe you're beginning to wish you could give the whole thing up and just be happy at your current weight. But maybe that just feels impossible too. I want to offer you some insights into the research on how to keep that weight off once you've lost it. This is based on looking at the people who've succeeded in keeping the weight off. I think that would be helpful, don't you? Judy Kruger and colleagues from the Centers for Disease Control in the USA found that self-monitoring strategies were important for successful weight loss maintenance. These include weighing yourself regularly, planning meals in advance, tracking fat and calories, exercising 30 or more minutes daily. There are references to all the research that I quote in the video description. The US National Weight Control Registry is a research group that gathers information from people who've successfully lost weight and kept it off. They found that 78% eat breakfast every day, 75% weigh themselves at least once a week, 62% watch less than 10 hours of TV per week, 90% exercise on average about one hour per day. Can I hear you groaning about the idea of doing exercise every day? I'll come back to that later in the video with some suggestions about you, how you can embrace exercise. But right now I want to look at more of the research. Once again, we've got the idea of weighing yourself at least weekly. I personally prefer to weigh myself every day. I'm looking for a trend, not a variation between two days. If my weight goes up for around four days, I need to tighten things up just a bit for a while. It's easier to address weight gain when the weight regain is small. That may not work for you. You may get obsessed if you do it every day. But the research does suggest that you need to weigh yourself at least once a week. Obviously, you also need to take action if your weight starts to creep up. Dr. Barbara Ber Berkeley suggests that you set what she calls a screen weight. She, she suggests that that is around eight pounds or 3.6 kilos higher than your final weight. This would almost certainly be too high for me, but may well work for you. So your screen weight is the weight at which you take immediate action. She also says that some people will need to adjust the screen weight up after a time as they may find that their initial goal weight was too low than they can re realistically maintain. All researchers seem to agree that the most successful way to keep weight off includes taking regular exercise. Research from the University of Colorado in the USA studied successful weight loss maintainers. They define that as the people who maintain a reduced body weight of 30 pounds or more for over a year. 30 pounds is around 13 kilos. They found that these people rely on physical activity to remain in energy balance. In other words, they use exercise rather than dramatically restricting their food intake to avoid weight regain. Researchers from the University of Surrey in the UK agree. They say... Studies show exercise or simply physical activity may be one way to prevent weight regain by improving our ability to maintain our weight and can potentially minimise metabolic slowing. Exercise can also help regulate appetite and fuel burning, fuel burning in the short term and may make weight loss more sustainable in the long term. The US Government Centers for Disease Control is more specific and recommends 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic activity each week. As a quick rule of thumb, moderate intensity exercise means you can sing but not talk while you do it. Vigorous intensity exercise means you can't sing and you can't talk. I hope you're enjoying this video. Would you do me a favour, please, and hit the like button? The more likes for the video, the more likely 
YouTube are to show the video to other people who could really use this information. Thanks a lot. So what if you hate exercise? Here's some suggestions, as I promised earlier. It's very likely that we'll, there will be some exercise you will enjoy, so you may have to put some effort into finding it. I remember talking to a woman who told me she hated exercise until she, she got a mini trampoline. Now she loves exercising. She said, how can I not smile and feel joy when I'm trampolining? Another way of looking at exercise is like teeth cleaning. It's necessary for your health, just like teeth cleaning is. So rather than waiting to feel excited and motivated to exercise, just get on with it. Consistency is the key. A third option is to go in for exercise snacking. This is doing small bouts of exercise throughout the day. Run up and down the stairs while the kettle boils. Do air squats while watching a YouTube video. Get the idea? Another way is to look at the time you spend exercising as a percentage of your total life. It's very small, so that can help you actually do it. I hope all this gives you some ideas. If you think you can't exercise because of back pain, think again and check out my video on that topic. Exercise can actually help back pain rather than making it worse. And do remember that exercise is beneficial for your mental health, as well as your physical body, and we can all do with better mental health. M.T. McGuire of the University of Pittsburgh in the USA found that their from their research that the longer you maintain your weight loss, the more likely you are to be able to continue it in the future. It gets easier. Hooray! M.L. Clem from the same university agrees. Subjects who have maintained weight losses longer use fewer weight maintenance strategies and report that less effort was required to diet and maintain weight. So this is all good news. It will get easier, but you need to approach it in a positive and purposeful way. I've written a book on weight loss, 190 Weight Loss Hacks, How to Lose Weight Naturally and Permanently Without Stress. It's available as an ebook, paperback and an audio book. Do check it out for more practical advice. These are the strategies that have been shown to work for long-term maintenance. It's not enough just to focus on calories. You need to look at your daily activity levels and consider weighing yourself at least once a week. I have lots more videos like this one based on scientific research, simply explained so you can implement it into your life immediately. Do explore the weight loss playlist. It's also available as a YouTube podcast. Here's to maintaining your weight loss now and into the future.